The New Mexico Steam Locomotive and Railroad Historical Society held its annual open house for Atchison, Topeka, and Santa Fe 484 number 2926 on September 25, 2021 at the restoration site located at 8th Street and Haynes Avenue in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Good, thanks. You want to ride those meters? Sure. Yeah? Yeah. All right, come on, come on over here. Get there. the oil is happening and then uh, the biggest thing right now is just finding somewhere to run it. Yeah. That's going to be the hardest part if we can do it. Somebody's uh, assuming, talking to the state. We were, uh, so we were, we were told, like, it was, uh, the story was like 15 years ago, there was, BNSF said, yeah, you can run on our track, uh, but that was 15 years ago and times change. And people people changed and, you know, when we, when we asked BNSF not too long ago, hey, is, you know, is that offer still up? They're like, who are you guys? And we're like, oh, <laughs> that's where we are. <laughs> oh, well. So, well, I don't know, it'll be a challenge, but I'm sure we'll do that. Increase your throttle and be careful. The event was canceled last year due to COVID-19, but there was much to celebrate this year with the recent steam up and movement under its own power on July 25th. It was the first time the locomotive has moved under steam since 1953. About 1,700 people attended the open house, which featured volunteers of the society answering questions about the restoration status, how steam locomotives operate, and what the future holds for the locomotive. Wow, he really takes advantage. Be careful out there in the street. Some idiots are driving the wrong way. You see me?
auction this year was Tool Car 3939, formerly a Santa Fe baggage car. Local model railroad clubs use the interior to display small layouts and pass out information on their clubs. Yeah, because they had the they had the With the restoration of the steam locomotive finished except for putting on the rest of the boiler jacket, there remain agreements and track improvements with the New Mexico Department of Transportation to be completed. And then, basically, when we're out, if you're out on the road, that fire is just, you, you couldn't even look at it. That's uh, we use that to heat the water. Around here is all the water. And then we use the water to make the, make the steam, or we use the steam that we make to drive the pistons. So, this is big enough that you could sit you could set up a table for four and have dinner. <laughs> I can stand in it without hitting my head. So it's big. Um, throttle over here, brakes, that get lever right there makes it go forward and backwards. Speedometer, all of this is all brake pressure, air vent, air valve, or air gauges for the brake, brake system. This lever makes our stack go up and down. Um, temperature gauge, that's a secondary pressure gauge. Normally we have a very big pressure gauge that sits right here. I'm not sure why they don't have it in. Someone took it out for some reason. Sight glasses right here that tells you how much water is in the boiler. And you want to make sure you keep enough water in the boiler because if the boiler gets too low, if the water gets too low, what will happen is you have a boiler explosion and then everybody gets killed. No, that's not a good thing. That's not a bad, that's not a good way to end the day. Yeah. So yeah, if you want to be the engineer, hop on up. How are you guys going to handle PTC? I'm sorry? How are you guys going to handle PTC? Um, that's still being worked out and I believe they finally have an answer and I don't know what it is yet. Okay, <laughs> fair enough. <laughs> NMDOT owns the main line between Berlin and Lamy, New Mexico, where 2926 will initially operate. We are still trying to get $100,000 in federal infrastructure money to upgrade the grade crossing at 8th Street, says Society President Mike Hartshorn. We still will have to pay up to twenty dollars to $30,000 to upgrade our spur line to the main line to Class 2 track. When asked about the status of PTC, or positive train control, the member didn't know, but when I asked Dr. Mike, he replied, PTC is a snap. A genius electrical engineer and member of 2926 and 3751 has designed, built, tested, and applied for a patent for a system he calls LeapTC that includes MU controls in the steam cab and tethers the steam locomotive to a diesel behind it and uses the PTC already on the diesel. Baldwin built the locomotive for ATNSF in 1944 and it was retired in 1953. It was displayed in Coronado Park near Albuquerque until June 23, 2000 when it was moved to a BNSF railway siding. It was moved to its current location near 8th and Haynes Avenue in Albuquerque in 2002 where it has been restored to operating condition. Please like this video and subscribe to our channel.